We're about to leave to head south to Guatemala. Crazy. We're pulling the anchor right now and it's freaking gorgeous. Hey, we're Sailing Sincia. I'm Tanner, and this is Emily. We quit our jobs, bought a boat, and headed for the Western Caribbean in search of freedom and simplicity. Hit subscribe to follow us as we head south. So we just left Isla Mujeres. Yeah. Emily's on the helm, but not really because we finally got our autopilot working. I have posted that a couple, you know, maybe a week or two ago. So we're heading south uh, along the coast of Mexico, uh, heading towards Belize and then Guatemala. Um, today is going to be our first sail with me and Emily uh, with the autopilot. So, so far we're uh, basically pointing 30 degrees off the wind and we're just kind of motor sailing to get out of the can the harbor by Cancun and uh, it's doing really well we're this is the first time we've ever been sailing and not have having to steer every second and so far it's I don't know a lot better so we're gonna see how sailing goes um, heading south with an autopilot I mean maybe we'll enjoy it a lot more we hope so so we also got a couple of buddy boaters that we've met um, over our time in Issa Mujeres. We got a, a South African couple and then a couple from kind of all over, but they live in Guatemala. And uh, we're all three going south together, kind of stopping at most of the same places together. So that's kind of nice. Uh, these are unfamiliar waters to us, like most of our sailing, but uh, we've gotten a lot of advice from other cruisers and we have uh, you know, another couple boaters with us who have kind of the same plan. So we'll see how it goes. We'll keep you guys updated, but uh, yeah, back to sailing. Is the autopilot even working? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. She's working. So. Look at that. It's moving by itself. This is how it should be sailing.
worried about one of those one of those things picking us up. This one's already. This one's already. Yeah, I can see how that would be. Oh, shit. We had waves. Just can't imagine what real waves are. Look how cute she is. We're at a marina. to Puerto Aventuras. Uh, we're at the marina and we're starting our boat tours. Yeah, we gotta check out of the country, get some diesel, find some more oil, uh, try to find a water hose now that we have water so we can actually wash the boat off. Um, just some stuff like that, nothing crazy, but this is what you do when you get to a marina after being on anchor for like a month is you like start cleaning your boat, you gotta refill the gas, you gotta do documentation. It's pretty much like this every time. So it's not always just relaxation. Right now we're on our way to do laundry. Babe, I'm filming. So this is our nifty little, little cart wheels and you pull it, it folds up into like a little small square so we can put it on our boat. But anytime we got to carry like three bags of laundry in a backpack or a bunch of food or a bunch of water cans, we carry this little guy around and it really helps. So check it out. Tanner went to get a haircut and we filled up diesel today. We filled up water. We cleaned the boat. We meal prepped. A lot of things going on today. We also need to go pick up our laundry. We did all the checkout process for Mexico. It's been a day full of errands. We're heading down south tomorrow. We should be getting to the first bay, Bahia de Ascension, um, tomorrow. And that will be our next stop on the way down to Guatemala. So we're making progress. Still got a good weather window. So we're excited about that. Just uh, ready to get in that reef in Belize. Can't wait. appreciated after a rough day with lots of waves really grateful for these calm seas right now and we're almost at the anchorage so pretty awesome we got to Punta Allen just in time for sunset this morning we left um, Puerto Aventuras Marina uh, it was slightly sketchy getting out of the pass and we had some pretty big waves all day but we're finally here 
50 some miles later to Punta Allen and it's gorgeous.